Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Oopsters Gangster here, and we're going to take a look at some of the top launches that you can currently find for your Android device. So, let's get this started. Okay, so the first launcher on a countdown is Go Launcher. Now you probably have already heard of Go Launcher because it is to this date the most popular launcher available within the Play Store, with over 1 million downloads. What makes Go Launcher so successful is its endless expansion opportunities. Go Launcher not only has hundreds of themes, but even their own apps dedicated to a launcher. It's fast, responsive, and highly customizable, the way any Android launcher should be. Next on the countdown is Smart Launcher. Smart Launcher takes Mimless to a whole new level. There are no traditional home screens when using Smart Launcher. Instead, you have six shortcuts that can take you to your most used apps. The app drawer itself divides the apps into specific categories to make it a little easier and more organized. Smart Launcher also has different themes and customizations that can be applied. A little goes a long way. Third on the list is SwipePad. Now SwipePad isn't really a launcher. It's an overlay that sits on your screen, allowing you to swipe in a corner to get any shortcuts to any app you want. It's a simple and easy way to navigate between multiple apps at the same time. Fourth on the list is Atom Launcher. Atom Launcher, similar to Smart Launcher, has a minimalist approach. It's fast, efficient, and provides a good amount of customization. Another fan favorite is ADW Launcher. ADW Launcher might not have all the bells and whistles of Go Launcher, but it provides you a solid ice cream sandwich-like theme at no cost performance or space. It also allows you to change up the theme to whatever you may desire. If you're looking for a Windows Phone style look on your Android, then Launcher 7 is the answer. Launcher 7 is amazing because it provides the full Windows Phone 7 feel on your Android device. You have live tiles and the ability to make your own. Also, everything is fast and visually appealing. You can even create app specific tiles. Overall, the best option for any Windows Phone fan out there. Of course, if Windows Phone 7 doesn't appeal to you, maybe iOS will. SBR Launcher is unique because it gives your phone the iPhone look. The icons all have that blocky shape to them, and your home screen is just an endless scroll of all of your apps. Definitely a worthwhile theme for anyone who might be transitioning to Android from iOS. Next on the list is Apex Launcher. Apex Launcher, like ADW, gives you a solid stock-like experience, with the ability to customize however you please. Apex Launcher is extremely fast and offers all the customability that you would expect. Now here's another launcher wannabe, Swaps. Swaps allow you to swipe to the side of your screen to launch any app that you want. You can access shortcuts and browse your app drawer. Another great option if you're looking to guestify your phone. Last but not least is Nova Launcher. It's pretty much the same story like ADW and Apex. Nova provides you a smooth stock experience with the ability to customize your home screen, app drawers, folders, and possibly anything that you can think of. You can even import data from any of your previous launchers. And that's it! This has been the best launchers of 2013. All these launchers provide customability and efficiency. It is up to you to decide which launcher you like the best. So as always, thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.